This is the uh, start of a new little project that I've been doing. It's a tool making uh, unit. Now it's actually uh, what I've just called it a parting adjustment tool. And it's uh, comprised of a few little bits and pieces here. Now I've made the, like there's a, a rectangle block here for example. Now this particular block, uh, this particular one is uh, 29 mil square. That's looking down from the top. In a vertical position, uh, I'll just uh, see if I can zoom in a bit like so. Now, on mine, uh, this has got a 3.8 Whitworth uh, bolt going through. Now, I've used a, a cap screw bolt, and I'll show you an idea. Uh, uh, I'll show it to you in a minute anyway. And then what I've done, I've also cut that out so the that's been recessed. Uh, and that recess is the depth of the actual cap screw itself and that's uh, so that's that one this one here is a 10 mil 10, uh, 10 millimeter by 1.5 uh, thread in there and what happens is and I've made you'll see in the demo I've made some uh, uh, 10 mil ID washers the 10 by 20 mil OD and that bolt there that is to that washer there goes onto the bolt the bolt goes into here and that will screw this slide on but I'll come back to that in a minute now so that's that part then we've got an aluminium slide that I've made up now that is uh, 19 mil high uh, and in here that's a 10 mil slide so you can put a 10 mil bolt in here then that whole unit slides to the left or to the right according to where you need it and then up here I have got a 10 mil hole now that can be a 10 mil 5 mil whatever size that you want to make it just doesn't really matter now I've got a 5 mil by 0.08 uh, thread going in there so it's uh, around about just under a quarter of an inch in the old language so you can put whatever you like in there as long as it can hold the bar in or, or in situ now now this one, that's your, like your top elevation, your side elevation is here, that just shows you the same thing, just so I haven't put anything in there, I mean I could put dots in it, but it's easy to see that way. And then that part there is the actual cap screw, which is a 5 by 0.08, where it screws back into the top of that, or sorry, straight down, which is that point there. And then we've got a, well... <laughs> It's a well, mine's brass, so it's called a length adjusting rod. Now, that is a uh, 10 mil OD to suit that hole there. Now, what happens is uh, I've actually tapered, I've come in 25 mil, and I've tapered down to 2 mil. Now, if you've got a, a 6 mil or a quarter inch or whatever diameter that you want to do, whether it's imperial or metric, doesn't really matter, but as long as it's a solid unit it can be brass it can be stainless steel and can be a copper tube it just doesn't matter as long as it doesn't bend when you go to use it and that is around about 180 mil long now it when we go back to see exactly what we've got this is the finished piece now that is looking well actually that way that's looking from the top right the top this one is looking like that and you can see how I've got my 10mm uh, thread inside there and then you've got your cap screw which is in my case it happens to be a 338 Whitworth uh, whereas you might have a 716 Whitworth or it could be a metric, could be anything in there depending on whether it's a, a well depends on the brand of the tool post I suppose so we've got that part there now that particular bolt here that's your cap screw that's what a cap screw looks like now in this case it's not this particular one but th that's how it fits in right that's not the right one for it right now so that's that part then we've got the brass washer I've made and you'll see the in the video now that will go onto here uh, like so and we'll come back to that in a minute now we've got the bar here and yeah that the actual bar 
uh, will sit like that sort of thing right because it has to be moving left and right so that's how that goes it's got the thread in the top and I can so you can I think you can just see the uh, thread in there so anyway so what I'll do is uh, there's that part there then we've got uh, this adjustment rod and the rod will whoops <laughs> oh all these one-handed people you know what it's like uh, the rod will be like that sort of thing uh, I haven't had time but I will be milling a flat directly on here just about the full length so that'll be probably about a four mil flat or whatever it is so that when that goes in that will always line up in a vertical position but the whole idea of the bar is that you can move it out and you can move it in according to where you want it and I'll show you that in a minute and then now what happens is that that will go through there like so then that will screw into here <laughs> yeah anyway you, you get the idea uh, that's how it is and the, <laughs> the ingenuity of the video um, so that's how it bolts up now underneath there is the the where the 38 Whitworth that the bottom bolt is what actually holds it onto your tool post and then this will slide in and out according to whatever adjustments you like then you can go forwards and backwards anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, what I'll do we'll take you straight over to the uh, milling machine and then the lathe and then yeah just hope uh, you like and enjoy it thank you At least you can see a couple of chips. I wonder it'd be like magnesium where if you light a match it'll flare up and come out like a sparkle or not. But right, let's see how that is. Oh, it's still a bit rough, I'll still need a fair bit off that. Definitely through the bottom. Now that should be uh, 10 mil. I should be able to uh, get a 10 mil bolt in there without any problem. There we are. How's that? So that'll be fine. Put the uh, smaller drill bit. I haven't got a nine mil to uh, do the ten mil, so it's about uh, eight point five, eight point six, I think, something like that. So we'll have to wait and see how it travels. Now whether this is a blind hole or whether it goes straight through, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> well, it's definitely straight through now, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear, we'll just have to uh, organise the tap and stuff. 
All right, we've uh, virtually finished tapping. I'll just pull that la last bit out. There we go. Um, and I'll give a bit of a wipe over. I won't do it off camera. So anyway, uh, what we've got is a block like this. Now, what happens is uh, that will bolt onto the, well, not this. I'll have to get one which is a recessed bolt, of course. That will bolt on and that will go be recessed probably about a quarter way and that'll fit right into the uh, tool post this one here is threaded as you can see that's <laughs> yeah we'll get it in eventually i mean you know there you go yeah so that will screw right in probably three quarter way and then i've got the the bar coming off this side which is a sliding bar so that'll be probably i don't know haven't worked out the exact length probably about uh, 100 mil 120 mil long and uh yeah so if it this part is pretty well finished. I might round the corners off a bit more. I don't really know yet. I'll polish it up a tiny bit if I can. But basically, that one's done. And then, so, that's there. Then you've got the arm coming off over that way. So, it's just a matter of making the other arm now. Right, we've got our other stage going now. Uh, this is the actual sliding bar here. Uh, there'll be one hole drilled through here. And that's where my extension will go to work out the spacing for whatever I'm cutting with it's a washer or whatever I'm going to do with it then there'll be a slot approximately from here to about here then there's a 10 mil hole here and then after I've done that I'll be flipping it over that way and once I've done that actually I'll, I'll probably anyway we'll see I, I wanted to put a radius on there I'll, I'll have to work out the best way to do that from this point Anyway, then from here, I've got a 5mm hole, a threaded hole to put in here because that will be holding the shaft that goes through here. Right, what we're doing here now is uh, we've cleaned this uh, uh, length of slide up. Uh, I'm going to make a small hole in there, probably uh, just, I don't know, actually I might even take it straight out to 10mm because there's going to be a 10mm slot going from there to about here. So I'll do that. And then I'll make up another mandrel so I can round that corner off. And then uh, I'll slot that across after I've rounded that off. And once I've uh, put a slot in there, then I'm going to take this out. Uh, I have to find a piece of material that'll go in there. At the moment it's about 9 or 10 mil. But I want a bit thinner if I can. And also I'll be drilling a hole through there, threading it. And that will lock the uh, shaft that goes through there for the length. Actually, that's, uh, that's not quite good enough. That's just a fraction too small. Oh, anyway, we'll, we'll see. I might even be able to use that. I'll see how it goes. That's just uh, approximate sort of a unit. I'll just uh, finish off with a, a file or something, just enough to clean the ends up. But that's basically how it'll be. And the uh, it's not too bad at this stage. I'll recheck. Well, the radius looks reasonable anyway, but I'll, I'll recheck it shortly just to make sure it's all right. And then what'll be done is uh, I'll put it back in here. And then... Uh, that will have a groove going right through to about here somewhere so that'll be a, a complete sliding bar and then right on here there'll be another small hole there <laughs> 
Right, we've got it lined up. We're going to uh, see if we put a bit of a slot in here. It's a very light one. Now that part's done, what I'll have to do is just uh, put the other drill in and then I'll do the uh, small hole on the other side. Well we've got so far, we've got this far anyway. Um, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to drill a hole right there. And what that is going to be is at this stage I'm using a piece of uh, brass rod like this which will be for our extension. So that's... Uh, just under 10 mil. So I'll just uh, send a pop of dirt. Your bit's supposed to be good uh, on stainless uh, alloys and stuff like that. So, yeah, and the, tri the triple blade cut that just goes straight through everything that there is. Now, we'll just try our little bar here. Oh, look at that straight in. We're not getting it over far enough. <laughs> anyway, that will go in. I'll just uh, remove it. I better sweep some of this away first okay so at the moment what we've got as you can see there's a uh, that swivel there and I'll, I'll see if I can do it when the camera's here lean, trying to lean over everything now that will be fully adjustable for length as you can see uh, there'll be a screw coming straight down that'll hold that spot on this part here is where that will be bolted in well that'll be bolted in uh, from the, or that's where the, the the rod goes through sorry and that's where it's actually bolted in so it's got a full slide on it and it'll be able to move up and down slide in and out and everything else What I've done, I've, uh, I've cleaned this up a tiny bit so it's a bit better. It still needs polishing. I won't be able to do that till I get all my polishing gear back in. But anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to give it a very light contour on there. And then uh, then from there, then we'll start drilling the side from here. to Then we'll have, have a bolt perpendicular to the pipe that, or the tube that goes through or whatever you want to use as the, uh, the actual unit to check your spaces. <laughs> See, as you can see, there, there's a contour just in here, which is uh, quite good. And then this side has to be fairly flat. I can't make much there because I have to 
uh, drill and tap a hole through there so it goes through the center of that to be able to bolt or screw down and hold the actual pipe or the, the actual tube piece of uh, solid steel whatever you want to put in it doesn't really matter as long as you can work out a length between wherever you want to make washes or whatever but that's that's roughly the uh, unit at the moment and uh, the next stage now will be as I said to put it back in and drill it all right we're getting ready to uh, tap tap or drill and tap this hole here that's going to be a little five mil uh, which I think is 0.08 uh, thread on it now when the uh, the shaft or whatever goes in there the bolt will come down here and it'll actually lock all that up so we'll send a pop it first there we go we don't want it too big at this stage now it's supposed to be a number 16 draw bit but i think a 16 is going to be it's not going to have enough thread on it and so what i'm going to do i've gone i've stepped it down two sizes I think no I've got it yeah it went down to about a I think it's an 18 that's about two sizes just check make sure that's straight there we go that's just the initial I'll just, uh, just throw a little tap in here I'll just spin it, make sure it's in there. Yep. Now the thing is, it's uh, only a very small thread, so I'll just do. It. I'm going to be doing it by hand because I I can't uh, reverse on this one. It's only a it's either forward or fill, forward. You know, take your pick. So. The only way I can do this at the moment to make sure it's straight is just uh, very gently pull down onto the uh, actual tap and then rotate it by hand at the same time. That'll put the thread in it. So if I'm puffing and panting, don't worry about it. So <laughs> just getting my normal uh, ab exercise today. already through I'm just making sure it's going down as far as I can get it so it's only a very thin wall on that so what about four mil five mil five mil wall something like that and so what happens is <laughs> the moment of truth Will it go in or won't it go in? And if so, will it hold? Oh, there we go, how's that? Not a problem. Oh, okay, well, it's just a matter of uh, cleaning everything up, assembling it, or and then uh, just show you what, what you've been watching. Now, what I've nearly forgotten is, uh, is the recess for this, because that's the uh, carriage bolt that's going in so that head's going to be recessed so I have to recess it no I forgot about it that's no good we'll just try that see how we go for depth oh, just a fraction more This is what happens when you haven't got a DRO. Look at that, that's beautiful. Yeah, all, all we do now is uh, go and assemble the unit, put it into the lathe, and uh, yeah, see how it works. Well, <laughs> well, it, I hope it'll work after all this mucking around anyway. Whoa, that's a bit warm. But anyway, we'll go back and I'll get you back on the lathe. Okay, now this is my little bench lathe. Not that you ever see this side of it, but still, um, this is my tool post, as you can see it now. 
on the back here there is like a screw thread in there the Aloris I think has got one as well but it depends on the size of the actual uh, unit of how big a hole there might be but anyway that's the square block we've just made now this is the the arm here I'll try and sort of get in if I can um, as you can see uh, down the bottom here is where it's got the recessed bolt in there so that locks up this one's up here then that is your uh, movable swivel range there then this uh, piece I've just used the brass and I'll cut it down uh, if I loosen that off that will go in and out as you can see so what I'll do is I'll try and find a better position and uh, then we'll show you how it works all right I think we're uh, pretty well set up on the lathe here <laughs> I think we, <laughs> yeah, uh, you pegs your money, you takes your chances. <laughs> Since you didn't pay it, that's it, you buggered. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually uh, bring that in, so like I've got my cut, uh, the cutter there. Now I'll just bring that in, set that up, very gently bring it back to my, th I'm actually making a 3 mil washer. 3 mil has got a 10 mil hole in it, so what we do now I've just marked that off at uh, 3 mil now what we do here considering it works and I hope it does uh, we just loosen our bracket off a fraction draw that in so it's roughly about there just for the moment and then we can get make a final adjustment in a minute now we have to make sure that, that we've got a clearance between the cutting edge and here then what we do we loosen this off and we bring that across to there right now what happens is because that was at three mil spacing this is sitting just on the edge therefore when, when i go to screw that in like that's actually uh, in the midst of touching that edge right so we can't go any further there's no bowing here that's solid therefore we have got a three mil washer coming up shortly so what I do then as I pull it across you'll notice that this will also go across as well now what, what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, start her up get it fired up <laughs> spin it around a bit <laughs> now as you can see as I'm starting to cut into it as you can see, as I screw that in, that will actually uh, part that off. you'll notice whoops, as long as I don't burn my hands too much you'll notice that I've also uh, got a fairly clean cut on that side and I have got a fairly clean cut on that side as well so you can see the uh, cut there and you can see the cut there so what I've actually done to do that is I'll pinch a couple ideas of Joe Pye uh, Pyzinski if you want his full name and what, what it is, is the, the actual cutting tip here has got a slight left hand down. In other words, uh, instead of the cut being exactly straight, it's just a fraction to the left, so it's cutting more on the right hand side. So what happens is, when it parts it, I'll just see if I can get that back in, the, the parting is clean on both sides. See there? And then when we uh, go through, we'll just run that backwards and forwards, and then that'll be uh, clean there as well. Now, you'll find that when I bring that back again and go forward, uh, that face on the edge here will touch on here, so I'll have the same thickness washer as well. And it won't matter. I mean, I can go through and, and, and do that, and, and face it, it just doesn't matter. But when I bring it back this far, 
and very, very slowly. Uh, I mean, I can touch that feel of vibration as it touches. As soon as that touches, whoops, sorry about that. I'll try and do it underneath so you can see what's going on. As soon as that touches, that's, which is right there, then I'll just go back and I'll just cut another washer which will be exactly the same thickness. See, that's the washer that came off as well. I haven't uh, done anything to cover up, but that's that's clean, and that's clean on that side as well. And uh, when I get the other washer next to it, I've got two. Now it doesn't matter whether it's a one mil hole, five mil hole. It can be a zillion millimeters in diameter. It doesn't matter because what will happen is. That's already been, this part here, I better turn it off. That part has already been preset through here. Now, as I bring that back again, and I can bring that forward again, I can go like that. As soon as I come back again, I'll show you again, There's no problem, I can cut that. That's exactly as done. So you can, you've got a choice. You can turn the motor off, or the lathe off, or, and... Uh, or you can keep it going, it just doesn't matter. That's if, if you've got a job where you've got 20, 30 or 50 washes you have to make, or spaces, or you might be doing a spacer on the gearbox, or, or wherever, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can keep on doing that, especially in repetition jobs, you can see how easy that is to do. So, you know, this way I've already got three washes in a matter of seconds, so to speak. Uh, yeah, so there's uh, no problem with that. As I said, we just bring that back again and that's always set that portion is always set at the three millimeter or five or ten whatever you want to do it and as you saw in a matter of seconds I've got three beautiful washers so that that's basically the unit that can be brass that can be aluminium that can be stainless steel doesn't really matter uh, but I can just say that you know, I've, I've uh, got the info from Joe Pye, I watched his video. I'm hoping that somebody will also be able to do this. I'll give all the credit to him because it's his design. Anyway, uh, we'll catch on the next one. I hope you uh, enjoyed our little build.